on today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. Audi activities. I am not running because I am sick. So let's do a little unboxing. The New Balance uh, 1906R. Nice. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Welcome to episode 51 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron and it is a great day for a run. So I have a six mile run today, or I'm running six miles, easy pace. If I run on Sunday, just wipe me out. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just have those runs where you just get crushed and that's what happens. So I took Monday off, Tuesday's my off day. So out here Wednesday, just trying to get back in the swing of things. See what this guy does. Nice. Audi activities. Four, three, two, one, zero. Time to cross. Nice. But I shouldn't have crossed that intersection because that was where I should have turned around. So I'm just gonna go eight today because I don't feel like turning around and waiting five minutes again at that intersection. So here we go. Stop here on red. Oh, okay. No one does. It's fine. Nice. All right, wrapping this run up. Good run. A little surprise eight mile run. Sometimes you never know what's gonna happen when you step out the front door. So anyway, I will see you tomorrow, bright and early for uh, another run. Good morning, happy Friday. It is a great day for a run, although I am not running because I am sick for the first time in a very long time. I haven't been sick in a while, but now I have a cold, so I'm not going to run. I felt awful yesterday. I feel slightly better today, but I'm more fatigued than anything. So I don't know, I need to take a little bit of time off. I was hoping I could run tomorrow, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it is not looking good at this point. So this this vlog might be a short one. I do have a couple things I wanna talk about today. Thank you to everyone who commented on my last vlog, that was episode 50, um, where I talked about um, not getting into the Chicago Marathon. A couple things with that, I'm not like super sad, like I'm not looking for sympathy or anything, like I'll just keep applying, it's not really that big a deal. I wanted to run it, but you know, it didn't work out this year. So in the future, I'm sure I'll be able to run Chicago. Um, I did get a lot of great suggestions. One thing a couple people pointed out, I mentioned the Toronto Marathon having some issues with like logistics at the finish line. That is actually the Spring Marathon. The fall marathon in Toronto, the waterfront, the TCS Toronto or Toronto TCS waterfront marathon, that one did not have issues. So I'm really leaning towards that. It's probably down to that one or Detroit, um, both of which are marathons that have portions or take place entirely in Canada. So kind of interesting there. I'll be running in Canada, no matter what I end up doing, just trying to decide between the two, looking at some like hotels and stuff in Toronto just to price things out a little bit, but um, leaning towards Toronto at this point. So thank you to everyone who gave me um, some great suggestions. A lot of spring marathon suggestions. I'm still recovering from training for the Cleveland Marathon in 2022, which meant like I started in January. So I like ran in snow and ice and on the treadmill and it was just awful. So <laughs> I don't wanna do that anytime soon. So I'm really gonna focus on the fall marathons. I might do like a fun spring marathon at some point, like maybe in 2025. Anyway, thank you to everyone who commented on that video. I think that's like my highest like view to comment ratio that I've ever had. I've never tracked that, but um, felt like there was a lot of comments and a lot of people offered really good advice. So I really appreciate that. So anyway, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. And honestly, maybe this week, we'll see if I can sneak in a run on Sunday. I am expecting a package in the mail uh, tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to do an unboxing on, on this, uh, this vlog here, but I don't know. Not the best week. Like I said, I haven't been sick in a very long time. So I guess it's good on the off season, like December probably is the best time, um, you know, right before the holidays. So hopefully I'll be healthy for the holidays and I can jump into my training in January. Yeah, that'll probably be it for today unless I can think of something else to talk about. But otherwise, I will see you probably tomorrow. Not sure. You'll find out in a couple seconds. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a great day for a run, although unfortunately I'm still under the weather, so I'm not gonna be running today. 
apologies, this is not the most run heavy fresh brew run vlog. But like I mentioned yesterday, I have something that I am very excited about that just came in the mail. Pick this up one handed. Go. So yeah, I bought a pair of shoes that I'm very, very excited about. So let's do a little unboxing here. I got on the old stockx.com the New Balance uh, 1906R. So yeah, these are not shoes that I'm going to run in, although they are technically running shoes. So I'm just gonna treat these as like casual shoes. Okay, so my camera died or something, right? Hit the stop record button. Something happened at the end of that video. It's, it is Tuesday, December 19th, maybe. I'm editing the video and I realize the footage just ended, so I need to have an ending. So anyway, as I was saying, I got the New Balance 1906R. I got this shoe not for running, although it used to be a running shoe back in the day when this first came out. I got this for like casual wear. I would not take this out for a run. It is super heavy and super stiff and running shoe technology has improved exponentially since these came out. However, I do think it's really cool that some of the shoes that are now like fashion, just like everyday sneakers, are the stuff that I would see in the running store when I was in cross country in high school. So like these, the A6 GT 2100 series or the 1100 series, those are now like fashionable shoes. So yeah, excited about these, but I won't be taking these out on a run because they would break my feet. So anyway, that'll be the vlog for this week. My apologies, I ran once. Like I said, it's Tuesday, I'm feeling much better. I'm hoping to run tomorrow so that run will be in next week's vlog episode 52 but again apologies that i didn't actually run more but with that said i'm just going to wrap it up so thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you soon